Yo, what is up everybody? Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Had a whole bunch of fun making it. I was watching hair hacks and watching like, you know, stuff that you can do at your house, stuff that doesn't cost a bunch of money or any money at all. And some of these actually were things that you could do on your own at your home. It doesn't cost any money. And some of them do cost money. Like the last thing I did with, you know, creating a hairline that looks pleasing to you guys, because for some reason uh, people always say, yo, you got a crooked hairline, but I know I've been telling people this like ever since I was born. Yeah, since birth, I've had a crooked hairline. I'm just blessed like that, all right? That stuff I had in a bottle is actually 20 bucks, but it lasts a really long time. If you don't have this, say you have a wife or a girlfriend or a mom or a sister who has makeup, you can actually use their makeup as well. But you would want to use makeup that matches your hair color, obviously. For instance, I think Candace has some, I think it's eyeshadow color. I don't know anything about makeup, hardly. But I think it's called eyebrow filler or eyebrow color. So you know how girls, they'll fill up their eyebrows. You can actually use that on your hairline mustache, beard, whatever works for you. But say you have the money and you want to actually invest in getting some hair fibers. That's what that actually was. It was Focus Hair Fibers. They also have some from Topic, but both work really well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed these hair hacks. Like I said, if any of them helped you, if some of them surprised you, or if you've never seen them before, I want to know in the comment section, comment down below, which one was your favorite and which one you thought was like really weird. And cause I'm not going to lie, like some of the hair hacks that I did today, I felt like were weird but I tried it and it actually worked out. Like, come on, all y'all seen when I was mixing the cornstarch and the baking powder, whatever, what is it, baking soda? Y'all seen when I was mixing that stuff, it was like, yo, am I really gonna put this in my hair? But it actually works. Now in another tutorial I watched, you can actually mix in cocoa, which will blend better with your hair color. But once you put that in and kind of just run it through your hair, you can't even see it anymore. But it's crazy how stuff like that can actually get rid of greasy hair or oily hair. They're just little things that a lot of people don't share on social media or on YouTube for tutorials. And I just thought it was an awesome idea to share these with you guys and come up with my own that I've done for myself. Like for instance, the shorter hair look, I started doing that like right away after I combed out my dreadlocks. And it's really easy. All you do is put a hair tie at the end of your hair if your hair is long. Um, and this really only works if your hair is, you know, more of a coarse texture. But for all those people that do, when you put your hair tie at the tip of your hair and then just let your hair come down, you know, wet it a little bit or wet it before you put on the hair tie and then it comes out to this. It can be shorter depending on how wet your hair is, but this is just the look that you can do if you want your hair to appear shorter. But a lot of the other hacks were really weird, like I said, but comment down below if you've ever done any of these. And also let me know if you want me to do another hair hack video. But other than that, please subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of awesome content real soon. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.